Hello everyone, and welcome to Level 1 and Advanced Beginner Ballet Episode 5. Uh, my name is Ian Parsons, and it is my great privilege to be a member of the artistic staff at Canada's National Ballet School. And behalf of the ballet school, a big warm hello to everybody in our adult ballet community and anyone who might be joining us for the very first time today. If you are joining us for the first time, you have a whole month worth of class to go check out. So I strongly urge you after this one to also check out episodes one, two, three, and four. Wow, we've been going for a long time. Uh, the music we're using today is by the wonderful Rob Thaller, who is my partner in crime uh, on a daily basis in the Professional Ballet Academic Program. So I'm, again, as always, very happy that you get to hear his wonderful music. So without further ado, we're going to get started, but before we get started, I just want to again do my little safety spiel. Make sure that you have enough space not to kick anyone, break any priceless antiques, anything like that. Also, please be aware of the surface that you are dancing on. Yes, you want to make sure that it's nice and not too slippery so that you don't, you know, bruise your tailbone or something like that, taking a dive. And once you're all set up, we can dive into our bar. So let's dive into our warm-up exercise, which is the same as last week. Just a little bit of a sidebar. I'm very much hoping that this is the last week that you will see the turtleneck. I have my fingers crossed that the t-shirts are going to come out again for class next week but we'll have to play that one by ear, or by feel, I guess. So, starting in first position, we go. Five, breathe, six, and seven, eight. Tendu to front, right leg, two, flex, three, and four, point five, six, plie, seven, close on plie, stretch, eight. Saving side, one, and two, Flex, three, and four. Slow point, really work through that foot. Six, plie, seven, close, stretch to the back. One, two, and flex. And a point, six, plie, seven, and eight. Same arm as the foot you were just using, so right arm on your sternum, and circle to just an easy circle the other body. Ooh, that wasn't that easy. And seven, and eight, and then you repeat everything to the other side. Tendu front, two, slow flex, two, point, two, plie, da, da, side, two, flex, point, stay on plie, close up, same thing to the back, and then left hand, woo, give it a little bit of hairography, and we finish. in first position, arm in preparatory, and 
five and a six, just take a breath. Seven and eight, literally and figuratively. We go right and lower, right into your plie. Three and four, really try and blend those together. Five and six and a first this time and second and grand. Plie and up and four. Tendu du la seconde. Five and six. Lowering second. Seven and eight. Same thing in second. So rise and lower right into the plie. And four. I'll go a little bit faster. Five and six. This time arm first and second. Watch your pants. And grand plie and a three and four and tendu side six and close fifth position exactly the same thing leave your toes right where they are still let's just do a demi plie with a porta bra demi plie two and three and four, now tendu à la seconde, five, six, close, fifth, front again, eight. Now we go porta bras towards the bar, up and over, one, and two, and a three, and four, really arc, five, big curve, six, and through first, and eight. Try this without the bar. Now you can pull your feet together, rise in fifth position. One, and two, and three, and four. And you just balance, and balance, and balance, and eight. It's too bad we're not actually at NBS, because I just get the pianist to give you the longest ending ever, just so you have to hold on, and then you finish. that you're landing from a jump as you come down. Landing into your plie. Same thing in second position. Same thing in fifth. second side, I want you to really think like I was saying on the first side about actually going in the opposite direction as you're going down. 
So I go up to demi point. Now, as I go down, I sort of put a fish hook through the top of my skull and I pull myself up towards the ceiling as I go into the plie. So it's like you're getting stretched out from either end going down into the floor. in fifth position. We go five, six, and seven, eight. Once around the block. Front, up, two, to the side, three, and four, to the back, five, six, to the side, seven. Same thing now with an arm. So we go hello, two, and bonjour, four, and hola, six, and aloha, Eight. Now, a little bit slower, but we're always changing feet. So we go one, two, close, three, four, inside, back, six, and seven, eight, outside, side, two, and three, four. Now a little bit different, a nice luscious reach on a plie. Reach, six, and seven, eight. And then we reverse. So we go once around the block, arm in second, back, two, and a side, two, and a front, six, and a side, with an arm, back, da-da, side, da-da, front, da-da, side. Now slow change, one, two, in, three, four, inside, front, six, seven, eight, outside, side, two, three, four, and again, luscious reach, six, seven, and we can finish in that lovely arabesque pose. Around the block, on quad. With an arm, make a statement each time. Luscious reach. Ooh, 
that's hard to say three times fast. Luscious Ridge. With an R. Inside my arabesque. Now, I want to talk to you briefly about home base. Quote, home base for ballet dancers is fifth position. We spend so much of our life in this position. Yes, so when you do this tendu exercise, you actually need to be a little bit homesick. So every time you do a tendu, as you close, even if you're using that same leg again, you want to make sure that you actually stand on it. So my weight is definitely between both feet before I take my next tendu. And what's very easy to happen is sort of this hanging out on the supporting leg. So if I kind of go back here and I sit in it, and I'm kind of, you know, sitting at a cocktail bar waiting for a martini. Yeah, you have to have that lift up out of there, otherwise you get this. And you never actually put weight on this leg. Yeah? So every time stand on it because when you have to do the second part and you actually have to change, that will make it much easier. Ultimately, when it becomes much faster, ya da ba da 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 Da, the entire step becomes so much easier to execute. Around the block. With an arm. Slow. Outside side, reach, reverse, with an arm. Luxurious, can you make your upper body while you're doing this? So, battement jeté. Again, starting in fifth position, we go five, a six, a seven, eight. Jeté out to the front. One, in, and three, four, Five, a six, seven, eight. Side, broken down, pique, closing front. Five, a six, seven, eight. To the back, back, in and out. Four, five, a six, seven, eight. Now, inside leg front, like we did in the tendu. Bout, a two and three, a four and five. Six, seven, eight. And we're ready to go to the back. Now those bounces, it's just about nicely relaxing into your plie. You don't actually need to fully stretch your knee in between. It's the accent down. Yeah. Da da. Think of it like a really round shape. Yeah da 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 da. Broken down PK. Side. Closing front. To the back. Inside leg bent.
Focus on closing back. Front. Inside leg back. Now, for this exercise, in this PK, you literally want to think like the French word actually means, like you're pricking the floor. Yes, so it's almost like a pin prick or something like that. Here, prick, but it has to come back up again. Remember, you know, ballet usually performed in a decently sized theater. Yes, so it has to reach the people all the way in the back of the balcony. Yes, so if you do it very small, if I go this, no one can see it. Yeah, so it has to have that same 45 degrees, that lift back up again, and that rebound. Or if you want to think of it another way, the floor is lava. If you have kids, you know that game. Lift it right off the floor. Can we see it? Inside, front to the bat. Side again. Starting in first position, we go like this. Five and six and seven. Prepare the arm to second. Now, we go plie, chasse front. So you might have to cross your foot a bit. Chasse, recover to tendu front. Three and four, slow round the jump. Five, six and seven, close. And plie, chasse, and three, four, round to the back, five, a six, and seven, and eight. Now we go to the front, one, and two, and three, through first again, that's the second time, seven, and eight, now the third one's only half. One, and two, plie second, three, have courage, hand off the bar, four, allonge, five, and six, lower, seven, now we do something a little bit unorthodox, give your inner thighs a bit of a workout, drag this foot in, eight, and then we reverse, one, chasse, and three, a four, round jump. Demi, six, seven, close first, one, side, three, four, round to the front, seven, eight, two, da, 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 five, six, seven. Remember the third one's only half. One, two, plie, three, and four, magique, six, and seven, eight, to finish. Inner thighs. This one's only a half, remember.
judging by the way my arm feels in second, I owe you an apology. Sorry. This one's only half. those chasses. So both of them, uh, both of them, any of them, all of them. Yes, so starting in first position, I go here, I really have to dig down into the floor. Yeah, with my whole foot. This is a very odd movement for ballet. Normally we're used to coming at things from a pointed foot or etc. So it's, it's a little bit unusual, this chasse step, to go on a flat foot. But you should really feel like you're ironing out the floor as you do so. And then on the way up, again, we're going back to talking about how our feet can be a little bit more like hands. So you really want to go up through your metatarsal. It's like you're peeling your whole foot off the floor before you take your demi rond de jambe side. And exactly the same logic goes for it when we reverse it to the back as well. Plié de chasse front. Again here. To the back. Spin that leg. Remember that barber pole. Rond de jambe. I've brought this lovely device with which to bash everybody over the head with a concept, as you know I like to do. Yes, because this one starts exactly like the Ron Jean does. So we start in fifth position. Five and six and seven, pretty much like the Ron Jean. Eight and a one. And two, chasse front again, inner thighs, three, and four, tendu devant, five, and six, hold, seven, lift, eight, fondue front, one, and two, and out to the floor, and a five, and six, and we close in fifth, and a one. Chasse two and a three and four recover five and six you have time to find your weight and a fondue and two to the side again I'm too close to my bar and five and six this one should go back seven and eight because we reverse one and two, chasse three, and four, recover five, and six, and seven, and eight, 
and one fondue, two, three, four, five, six, close fifth, guess what? Ya da da, da da da, da da, exactly the same thing, sign, da 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 da, close fifth, to finish. Plie. Chasse. Recover. Peel that foot. Remember, both knees happen together. Closing fifth. Now before the left, another little friendly reminder. So we've talked in the last exercise about this chasse and how you work your inner thighs. And we also talked about peeling your foot off the floor. But also something that needs to happen is you have to make sure you push yourself all the way back to this leg so that I could lift that foot off the floor like we have to do before the fondue. Front and back are a little bit easier where we really run into the problem is side. So let's say if I'm facing straight on, I go here, here, and then sometimes I see this. Yeah, I'm done. This is a lovely bicycle stand out to the side. Yet from this second, you really have to think about pushing yourself diagonally this way. If you'll remember, I think it was maybe week two or three, where we did all those things about a little test and lifting your heel. So exactly the same concept applies here. Could you do that little test? You might want to throw one in, should you choose to accept that challenge. Do that little test if you want. in fifth position, we go five, six, seven, pick it up to that flexed coup de pied, eight, two frappes front, 
One, a uh, two, and three, a uh, four, five. We just did it, or I gave you the challenge, so we do it now. Little test. Six, seven, in eight. Side. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five. Little test. A uh, seven, eight. To the back. Two and three, four, five, six, seven. Close. Eight. Inside leg front. We go one, two, and bounce, bounce, five, six, seven, eight. And we reverse. Frappe two and a frappe four. Frappe little test and eight. And a side, two and three, four and a five. And little test in eight. And a one, two, and three. Four and a five, little test. Close eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. To finish. Frappe front. Little test. Quite a big test from me. Remember that gliding action that we talked about a couple weeks ago? Glide the floor, don't dig down into it. Please don't bruise your foot. So like I mentioned on the first side, we have that sort of skimming action that we especially have to think about to the back. We talked about this a couple weeks ago, but you want to be careful again that you're not going down, ow, and then trying to go out but rather it has an arc this way. If this is the floor, so my hand that has the watch is the floor, and this is my other foot, I'm sort of skimming it and up, skimming it and up, rather than going and up. Ow. Yes, so it's that, we gave that image, I believe, of, you know, skipping rocks on a lake or something like that. It's that kind of striking, as opposed to just, you know, cannonballing straight into the lake. Little test. So now we have an adage with a little bit of a nice stretch built in. So starting in fifth position, we go five and a six and seven, eight. Développer devant, up to passe. One and two, like last week, we pass through attitude. Three and four, remember, could you serve champagne on your heel? You extend a little bit farther, five, a six and seven and eight. Same thing side. One and two and three and four and extend. A six and seven. Close eight. Now you get to chill. Turn everything in. In parallel. A two, rolling down. Three and four and five. Walk your hands out and seven, and eight, 
why don't you just give yourself a stretch here? A two, and three, and four. And now I would walk out a little bit farther, either with your feet or your hands, whichever you have space for. Five, six, and down seven, eight. Now, you push up from here. So we push up. One, hands by your shoulders. And three, four, I'm on a slippery floor, so I'm sliding, pardon me. Hold five, six, and seven, eight. Now either you can come down to your elbows or stay here. I'm gonna come down to my elbows actually because I'm sliding on eight. And then we lift. One, a two, and three, a four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Same thing one more time. One, a two, and three, a four, but this time do your other leg. Five, a six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, and down, and seven, eight. So it really depends on how flexible your back is. Yes, yeah, so if you're feeling really flexible, you can go up to your hands. I mean, if I go up to my hands, I'm going to end up pushing myself backwards because of this floor. So it depends on what you're doing it on, whatever feels comfortable to you. And then you can have a little nap. stop in attitude just so we get the mechanics of what's going on second side, let's talk about développé. Those of you who've taken my adult class before, you know who you are. I know how much you absolutely adore développé, but we're going to talk about it. So, we go up to that passé position, and it's like we talked about last week. You want to really think as much as possible, keep your knee back as much as you can, as much as works for you, and then you want to try and get that heel so much forward. Again, remember we talked about the champagne or a cup of tea on your heel. Now, when you go to the side, this is what I see quite a lot. Now, I'm going to exaggerate to make a point. So we go side, and then we think, oh, well, I have to get my leg up to the side. So this lovely thing happens. And then we try and go out there. But then the problem is, is that you can no longer have that gorgeously turned out leg if this is up. It's just anatomically impossible because then you're running, you know, bone into bone. So what you want to do, and you might want to try this if you're doing développé side, put your hand actually on your glute. Well, actually not so much on your glute, sort of on your glute a little bit off to the side so you can kind of feel where this bony part, the very top of your hip. Yeah, your greater trochanter right on the top of your hip. Put your hand there. And then as you do devil pay, 
you almost want to feel that it's coming sort of down and around underneath, almost tracing uh, sort of like a bikini line underneath your leg. So you want to press a little bit down. So if I keep that going down and underneath, then I'm going to get that développé because then I'll know if I end up trying to do it with my pelvis out the back door. Everyone's favorite. To the side. And you can put your hand there if you want. Seven and a eight to the front. One, a two, holding three and four and another one. Five, six and a seven and eight. Three in total. One, a two and three, a four. Inside leg bounce and bounce. Seven and eight to the side. Side, close back. A three, a four. Brushing side, close front. A seven, eight and a side. Close back, three and four. Turn to face the bar like we have been doing. Five, six, seven. To the back with the same leg that you were using. One, a two, and three. Remember, it starts with your leg, not your upper body. Leg goes, then body follows. Six, seven, eight. One more, two, three, four. Tendu side, six, close front, eight. And then we do it with the other leg. Tendu side, close front, and there you have it. Grombo off front. Inside leg. Side. Remember that digging down into the floor. to cast your mind back to what we've been talking about, about grand battement back. Yeah, so when you go grand battement to the back, you don't want to give it away before you take your grand battement. Yes, the very first thing that should go is like you were doing a normal tendu, is you should pass through tendu back, you start lifting, 
a little tiny bit, then you know your hip goes a little bit and your body can go a little bit forward. But remember, the one that you're standing on has to always be facing like an arrow to the front. Yeah, no veering off into this beautiful position that dancers around the world have coined secabesque. Yes, halfway between arabesque and a la seconde. This is not a position that we want to be in on a regular basis. I'm at my front. Inside to the back. in the center. Starting in fifth position, facing the downstage left corner, we go five and six. Take your arms up to third. Seven and eight. You open the downstage arm. One and two. Breathe. Allonge and down. Other arm. Five and six. Breathe. Allonge and down. Here comes your bashing overhead concept. One, chasse two, tendu back three, and four, plie arabesque, and six, and seven, and eight. We reverse the port de bras, so starting with the downstage arm. One, and two, and a three, and four, other arm, five, and six, and a seven, and eight, chasse back. One, and two, and a three. Let's recover to arabesque for this one. Lift five, bring it in, place it down. Now, just scooch to come off us. Now, again, starting with the right arm, so the arm that we were using, we go first, and please take my hand. Allonge and down. And other arm. First, take my hand. Allonge and down. Front leg goes. Two and three and four and five, six and seven and eight. And then you do it to the other side. One, da 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 One, hello, seven, eight. Plie, inner thighs, tendu à la seconde, four, now you plie, again, where are these sitting bones facing straight to the floor if they had those laser pointers on them, and seven, and then we'll come around to finish, just looking underneath those arms. sitting 
Mars. Last time, left arm. Front leg. whole exercise starting with the other leg front going front and then going back and then side and side however I'm not allowed to have these classes longer than an hour or they don't fit on the Instagram yes so I will give you your little helpful hint now and then if you'd like to do it on the other side you can rewind it and go back because I have a really strange feeling that I would go one bridge too far if I tried to include it on the other side so what you want to think about in this exercise especially is all of your eye lines. Yeah, they really do make all your port bras come alive. Yeah, it's about where you're looking for all the arms. You really want to see your hand in all those positions where it's going. So that's the little artistic thing. Now the really sort of technical nitty gritty thing was actually, I mentioned it when I demonstrated the exercise, is that when you get to all those plies, whether it's the arabesque, whether it's here, whether it's the one side, the one side especially, so I'll talk about that one side, remember where your seat is. You have to be able to have your pelvis with that upright bowl that we talked about before. Yeah, you're not tipping any of the liquid out of the bowl on any side. Yes, yeah, so we don't have this thing going on. You have both sitting bones with those laser pointers on them are going directly down to the floor. Or if you want to think about it another way, you want to imagine like you could sit on a stool at any point when you're in a plie. Yeah, without tucking under and missing it or anything like that. Yeah, just calmly putting your sitting bones down on a stool. So that's all the time we have for today. Like I said before, I have to make sure I bring them in right under the line. Thank you so, so much again for participating in these virtual classes. We've been so overwhelmed by all the wonderful comments uh, that you've left for us and all the positive feedback that we're getting from these classes. So again, thank you very, very much. Um, that's all from me for this week and until episode six. If you have a chance to check out all the fantastic things that we're doing on the website for Canada's National Ballet School, uh, you can see that we're now starting to launch our virtual classes for a multitude of our programs, so which is a very exciting venture for us. Um, and if you want to investigate how to maybe volunteer or make a contribution to the ballet school, uh, we would greatly appreciate that as well. So until next week, episode six, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful week.